Rise and shine everyone, it's time for another DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. Today we'll look at the major computing breakthrough that could revolutionize electronics, the Braille keyboard app that's helping blind smartphone users, and Microsoft's new Windows 8 logo. A long sought advancement in computing technology is now a reality. Researchers from the University of New South Wales, Purdue University and the University of Melbourne have jointly created the world's first single atom transistor. This amazing breakthrough paves the way for a new breed of computers and mobile devices which can be made smaller and faster than current transistor technology allows. The development also defies Moore's law which estimates the number of transistors that can fit into a single chip will double about every 18 months. According to the law, which is based on a statement made by Intel co-founder Gordon Moore in 1965, single atom transistors wouldn't come into existence for another 8 to 10 years. Unfortunately, one aspect of Moore's prediction may have been right. The researcher's single atom transistor will likely not find its way into consumer electronics for another 15 to 20 years. In an attempt to further clean its tarnished image, Apple has allowed ABC's news program Nightline complete access to the notorious Chinese Foxconn factories. That's where the electronic giant's iPhones and iPads are assembled. The move follows Apple's announcement last week that it's requested the Fair Labor Association to conduct audits of its supply chain factories after a number of reports revealed poor working conditions. Those audits have already begun and Foxconn has since raised worker wages an additional 25%. Nightline's special iFactory Inside Apple will air Tuesday, February 21st at 11.35 p.m. Eastern and Pacific Time on ABC. Microsoft will be unveiling its consumer preview version of Windows 8 in about a week, but the software company has already taken the wraps off its new logo design. In a blog post, the company detailed the history of Windows logos and showed off the new colorless, flat design. The new look is meant to fit in with the new square, simple look of Windows 8 and Windows Phone. Touchscreen devices have never been particularly friendly to the visually impaired, but that may change. Researchers at Georgia Tech have developed a prototype smartphone app that allows anyone proficient in Braille typing to write and send messages without looking at the screen. It's called Braille Touch, and this free open source app is used by holding the phone screen upside down with three fingers placed on either side. Initial tests have shown a six time improvement in typing speed over other research prototypes. That wraps today. Thanks for watching DT Daily. Make sure to check back later today for more news, including some alleged leaked photos of the iPad 3 and our full review of the Lenovo's ThinkPad 420S notebook.